Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. And I forgot about one more usage of Jacob and Esau, so let's just get that out of the way immediately. It's a challenge. We both have glasses. We both got 20-20 vision. One of us also has the capability of opening every secret room. Also, the enemies in each room are doubled, so it is a nightmare. Also, there's no item room, so it's just just really me. <laughs> the bosses are doubled as well, the rewards are not. Um, and we only have to go to mom's heart, so at least the mom's heart part is like kind of the saving grace of this challenge, otherwise it would get real bad real quickly. But also actually being able to go into every single secret room ends up usually paying out. Like for instance over here I can go to the library now, which had zero books inside it, which, uh, that one's a little unfortunate, but there is a Hierophant card in there, which I'm actually rather happy about. Um, I'm also gonna take the Devil card to just use against the first boss we're gonna face here. But yeah, Hierophant could be useful. Um, in case we don't get a Soul Heart anywhere else, we, uh, will at least have two Soul Hearts for the next floor so we can get a Devil deal, and again, since there's no item rooms, those are pretty much going to be our most useful assets. Bombs are really nice because you throw two of them, and if you can get a large quantity of them, then at least you have some offensive capability going against bosses, at least, and that's kind of nice. Uh, I will mostly be doing every single room for a while, at least uh, until there really isn't any more purpose to doing so, and for now there realistically is. Really just want to get as much stuff as possible, and if we can get some stuff, that would just be lovely. Simultaneously, you can get stuff like, um, usually there's a champion monstro, where you'll fight two of them. And if you find that one, you'll have to find, you'll have to fight four of them with, uh, a basement build, and it's just miserable. So hopefully, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see, I suppose. We got two bombs. We could blow up this donation machine. Our super secret room isn't great, but it'll do. And little horn is fine. It's the fire bomb bastard, but other than that, it's not the worst possible boss. Just gotta look out for the flames and hopefully manage to throw a bomb into the enemy. That would be lovely, but so far they've been... Dodging them pretty well, not walk into the bombs since they do deal contact damage, unfortunately. And, yeah, there's just a lot going on. <laughs> there's there's a lot of danger going on, but we did manage to destroy one of them. The Devil card actually probably helping out more than uh, it is getting credit for right now, which I can appreciate. There we go. The first boss has been destroyed. There is a safety pin, so we can at least get one more soul heart. There is a... Okay amount of hearts on this floor, so we could play with the sacrifice room for a little bit. There is that um, Machine That we could play with a couple times and then blow up as well Yeah, let's just walk in there get a coin And next one is increased angel room chance and then a chest, I believe, possibly, so that would obviously be pretty good. Let's see if we can get something for putting four coins into this. We did get a soul heart, so that's pretty grand. There's also a strength card, which already existed on this floor, so fair enough. Three bombs for the price of one, that's not too bad. Um, yeah. Let me just take this. I'll probably go to half a red heart and then just try and pick up all the soul hearts with that character. Uh, keep the Hierophant card that's in my library. Maybe destroy these skulls? That could end up being kind of useful. Yeah, I didn't get a chest, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, that's good. That's a lot of skulls. What card is that? Moon card? I'm actually a little curious, and there is a reasonable chance that this is going to kill me, but one thing that I'm curious about and I have to assume that this does probably work, is that you get one red heart for this. And that you can just walk into this and not be dead. Uh, upon leaving the room, I suppose, because it's a heart container you effectively get for it, right? Uh, we're gonna find out together here. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're fine. I really wanted to just get as much as possible from this, uh, from this thing here, because... 
I think it might end up being useful. We can use this strength card for effectively the same purpose. There is four soul hearts on this floor at present, which is not too bad. Uh, let's do that. We got a chest with another soul heart inside. So that's pretty good. We still have our strength card. Um, either way, we're going to get something good out of this, so that's good. There we go. Another soul heart. Then it's Troll Bomb, uh, Angel, and then either Coins or... So if I get to hit three more times, which I am doubting the worth of, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but if I get hit for three more times, then we're either going to have lots of soul hearts... Or lots of coins, and I don't actually hate the idea, you know? Uh, we did get a key there as well, so we can actually open this for some tier 8. Don't mind that. Yeah, mm hmm. I don't know. Three hits. How many soul hearts do we have? We got, like, with the Hierophant card, that's like uh, a handful. <laughs> it's a handful of, uh, of things that we have. There we go. A bunch of nothing. Take the stars card for a random teleport hierophant for that. Mm. Let's give one to each of you. Moon card can maybe be more useful than stars, I suppose. Uh, how? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go like this and hope it works out. Although, um, I really would like to have coins. And I also really would like to have soul hearts. I'm just gonna risk it. <laughs> this might be a pretty terrible idea, but I'm gonna see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. Uh, this is a little awkward, but not the worst. We got a rune for our troubles. Uh, Ansu's. It's fine. I mean... It's kind of in, you not that great, because every secret room opens anyway, but it could be more useful in the later floors for sure. So let's do that. And then one more for a bunch of soul hearts. I'd, I'd say either way, this probably would have paid out in my favor, but this is obviously not too terrible of a start, all things considered. So yeah, fair enough. Seven minute basement one. <laughs> it's pretty standard, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'll give you the black heart as well. But this gives us so much protection for uh, getting our devil deal at least. And if we can get a decent devil deal, then that's really nice. There is a burning basement, unfortunately. But genuinely, this... Uh, I actually... I've done one practice run of this where I won. And... I think I genuinely don't hate the idea of going for a sacrifice room on floor one and just trying to get an item out of it or something like that, because it, the challenge gets really difficult once you reach the womb. <laughs> I, it was my experience, at least. And if you can just get some stuff going before that, then that's pretty great, but you can't really reliably get many of the things, unfortunately. Uh, this could be kind of interesting, actually. Although I think only one of them is likely going to drop anything. There we go. But it was a heart. Um, I don't hate the idea of just picking this up, actually. Don't know in who, though, because this would be a full red heart heal, and this one would have an extra heart container, but... Yeah, I guess I would probably want the extra heart container, actually, because... Uh, for the devil deal, I really want to get most of my damage on a sow, preferably. It doesn't really make that big of a difference at this stage, admittedly, but... It would be really nice to just have as much damage as possible on our strong one. Uh, it's a little fiddly a room like this with so many enemies, but that's the challenge. That's what you gotta deal with. I'm hoping that we can get some damage at least from the Devil Deal, because if not, then we are in somewhat of a pickle. Curse rooms are also a little less tempting to go for right now just because of my health situation. Although I could teleport out with a moon card or something like that, which wouldn't be the strangest thing to do in the world. Uh, that barely worked out, but fair enough. There is a Tinted Rock there, but we only have one bomb. So I'm actually gonna wait a little bit with it. I do not remember for the life of me what was in my shop. I did... yeah, no, I haven't actually gone in yet. I did, do have a key now, so... That does explain why, yeah. 
didn't remember because I hadn't entered it yet. Let's see what's in our super secret. A lot of red hearts. Hmm. All right. Again, a secret room like like a super secret room like that on the floor with a sacrifice room just gives you so many options. But fortunately, uh, this time around everything kind of ended up paying out anyway, so that's fine. Map or extra curse room? I do really like the map for later floors. It's pretty expensive, but it does give you a lot of extra information on the more difficult parts of the run, and I do think that's valuable. So hopefully that's going to end up working out. That is a small rock. Uh, we don't exactly have movement speed, but it's not as big of a speed down on these characters since it so does sort of split up between the two, and both speed ups and speed downs aren't as effective, fortunately. But it is a little bit of extra damage, and damage is something that is just very, very useful. Similarly, an enemy that just opens a trap door for you is, is pretty great. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess I should have had this immediately, but it'll do that we have it now. The pill is tempting. Speed down would be fairly horrendous. We'll just test pills on you, I suppose. Range up. It doesn't really matter if this character's stats go down, except for a speed down, of course, but yeah. That's fine. Uh, let's just do this with one. Just have the other one stand safely over there while I try to get this piggy bank, because quite frankly, I think getting three extra coins is pretty great, but also just dropping money whenever we take damage. If we find a temperance machine, that's just going to be really nice. Definitely some purpose for that. Two Geminis. That's not ideal. Uh, we could use a bomb, but again, our bomb count is pretty rough right now. But as you can see, it does <laughs> simplify the fight a little bit. A well-placed double bomb from Jacob and Asao. Very nice. I'll take that. Um, Hermit card? That's not too terrible. <sighs> In terms of whether or not it's better than the moon is debatable, I suppose, but yeah, we'll see. Mm. Don't hate that. I do not hate that. Little brim right there. Because that's a lot of damage just in a straight line. It's good on this character just because uh, oh, his main damage isn't really going to be that big, but this is just standard damage effectively. I don't know if I should keep on since I have a map now actually. I think I'd rather just have two teleportation cards. And I think I will actually check out the cursor in case we can increase our health at least a little bit. If it's a terrible one, I'll just teleport out immediately, but if it's anything with an item or anything like that, then I'll take some extra time. There we go. It's possibly good. It's not immediately horrendous, at least, so <laughs> that's something. There you go. Ooh, very worthwhile. Very nice. Okay. Oop. Moon card out of there. Hopefully we won't need that anymore. There is one more coin on this room, which is because we went into the curse room. Should have picked that. Yeah, I picked it up with the right character, actually. It's one of those things that if you have two characters, you need to remember which one actually gives you the benefit for the trinket. There is also, I think, a soul heart I can afford in my shop. And that would be pretty great. Obviously, I would love to have BFF from any shop at this point. So saving money wouldn't be a terrible idea. But simultaneously, I could use just about anything in this shop right here as well. So it's like, eh. Because I really don't mind having the extra bomb either. An ace of spades or an ace of clubs would actually be really nice because our key count and our bomb count is uh, miserable, but we're fine. We got a 12 minute basement, <laughs> uh, which is uh, a standard amount of time, I would say, for the first couple of floors in the run. Let's go. So far, so good. A lot of protection, decent damage, no pills, less consumables than I would like, but it'll do. I will still continue to explore the entire floor here for now, just because uh, there might be some good stuff in there. Two of these isn't great, but not too bad as it turns out, <laughs> since they can't really walk through each other, so that ended up working out a little bit better than I expected. Something's wrong. Hmm. No tinted rocks for as far as I could tell. Uh, yeah, I think, I think a little brim is going to actually end up being really useful, especially in big rooms and stuff. Where enemies are just running all over the place because uh, I think that just adds a layer of safety. The challenge room is tempting. 
I'm not actually sure if you got double enemies in the challenge room. I'm kind of curious. Got a lot of money in the challenge room, so that's good. Always good to get a random dime. I don't think this is double enemies. I think this is just a regular amount of enemies, actually, so... Might as well just complete it. Otherwise, I could have just teleported out as well, but... Quite frankly, getting like 20 coins for one room that just has a regular amount of enemies inside it seems pretty worthwhile. Pretty great. Shot speed up. So far, a decent pill pool. Paralysis, obviously not ideal. But the other ones are pretty good. Like stuff like this as well. If we can get piercing shot, like uh, size or something like that, that would be lovely. Would really simplify things a lot, I think. Uh, there you go. Look at that. Keeping enemies away. We're getting a lot of different pills. Shot speed down. Fair enough. Three bombs for free is never a bad deal. I will want to blow up a shopkeeper, but I'm going to see if the one in the shop A exists. And no, That's not a great room. This is a terrible room. <laughs> uh, we'll see if the one in the shop exists and has nickels in his eyes or something like that, because that would obviously be a little bit more worthwhile to blow up. Maybe there's a room with multiple shopkeepers and we can maybe get some more stuff out of it as well. Yeah, this room was pretty rough. <laughs> I got hit a lot there, which is not great. And uh, that'll be the end of that. Uh, is there pins in this room? No. I'm shooting them because I'm trying to think of a plan here, but... I think I can just get away with this. Nope. <laughs> Could have walked towards the door thinking about it afterwards, but yeah, I didn't, didn't think of that in time, unfortunately. Really taking some time to look for tinted rocks as well, but also getting crawl spaces every time we blow up a rock is not bad. That's okay. We have a lot of money, since apparently we just duplicated every coin we picked up uh, with our trinket there, so that's pretty nice. Uh, that's good. I guess if you could just take care of those as quickly as possible, then they're not too bad either, but... It's not great when there's so many of them. I'm gonna see what's in my shop first before I spend all my money on that beggar, because I, I really want to get BFF, I think. If we can get that, that would be lovely, because... A strong little brim would probably simplify a lot of stuff in this game. So let's see if we can get that. I would love to stop seeing these enemies forever. I suppose mostly in this run, but forever also would not be terrible. Just trying to stay away from everything at this point. Might as well just kill these mushrooms with little brim as well. Yeah, look at that. Don't even need to get near them. Very nice. We should be nearing a shop, yeah. Might as well just take care of these like this, because quite frankly, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk any of this nonsense right here. There we go. Wake him up. There we go. Little Brim. What an item. Uh, Health-wise, I could take it on either, really. Champion's Belt is tempting, but I don't think I want to have more champions. This is really the main thing. I don't think I can afford more champions at this stage of my life. Because if they duplicate champions as well, then I'm just going to be in real big trouble. Uh, also, I guess I could just blow up the coin beggar for extra devil deal chance. Um, trying to think if I like that more than just getting whatever reward we would get from this guy, but... Mm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've made my choice. There was a luck up in there, so that's kind of nice. Also, just a whole bunch of money. Because for some reason, everything's dropping more money than uh, I can spend. So that's actually quite nice. Might as well just buy a couple extra things in the shop then, since we got so much extra money. Um, strength, not bad. It was an extra bomb. I mean, <laughs> it'll do. It wasn't much more expensive, I suppose, so it's fine. A little brim dealing with these just fine as well. But it would be nice if we could get like another devil deal with uh, just regular brimstone, really. That would be lovely. We'll see if we can get them. We have fistula, two of them. The one that drops the bombs, unfortunately. Which I'm not super excited about, but if we can just keep them on that side of the room, then that's okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. It's, yeah, okay, that, that worked out. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse, I feel. And we did get a double deal, so that's actually pretty good. You get that. Uh, yet another new pill, yep. <laughs> Amazing. 
Mmm, the void. That's interesting. I guess I'll take that on you. And then both get a black heart for their troubles. Hmm. It's not really anything to eat around here, but... I'm excited. I uh, don't think I'm going to bother with the curse room. Well, at least we got two devil deals in a row, and if we do find... I don't know what kind of item I'd be able to even realistically eat, but... That's probably fine. I'm going to wait until I speed up. <laughs> because that I'm excited pill has somewhat uh, dampered my pill pool quality. And it should activate any second here. If it doesn't activate in the next 20 seconds, I'd, I'd be surprised because that's how the pill works. There we go. Fortunately, the pill still works as intended, so that was good to know. Trying to keep away from these enemies as much as possible because they might drop an enemy when they die, but fortunately they did not. Looking for my shop. This is not ideal, but they all are shooting at the same time. So that will do. Wheel of Fortune. Am I happy about Wheel of Fortune? Not super unhappy about it. The I'm Excited pill activated once again. So we uh, actually <laughs> accidentally timed that surprisingly well, but it uh, is another load off my mind. I don't think I think it happens like one more time now and then it'll be over. I always forget how frequently it actually activates, but it's something like that. Let's just hang out over here and hopefully just destroy these enemies before they can come close. Isao's tier rate and damage and things are slowly but surely increasing into something usable, so that's pretty nice, obviously. If uh, we can get some good stuff from our remaining shops and things, that would be lovely. There is another shopkeeper here to blow up, so even if greed is in our uh, shop, then that's not too terrible. I think I'm guessing this is a challenge room, which I will just check out, because I'm guessing it's a boss challenge room, because otherwise it would have opened. And I'll, I'll take that, I suppose. Get out of there. And there is greed. Both of them. Great. Arguably, it might have been better to actually use the void there, but that's yeah, fine. I think I'd, I wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra health and kit. Like, we're probably going to get at least one more double deal. And for that, I would love to have something like that. Since we have a lot of coins, I'm actually going to void this for some extra damage. Only 0 0.75 because of 2020, but still, it's, it is a damage up. And honestly, I really appreciate damage ups right now. Getting rid of 50-50 seems ridiculous, but I don't think we're going to be able to buy as many things that our coins allow anyway, so... I think we're fine. Kind of wouldn't have minded not to move that <laughs> thing so far away there, but it, it is what it is. This is not a great room. This is not a great room at the best of days. And quite frankly, during this challenge, it is uh, one of the worst ones. <laughs> but it's working out. There we go. Only got hit once. It was on the character that had the piggy bank as well. That's another reason why I'm not really too concerned about my money situation, I suppose. Ah, because we are going to be just getting so much money. <laughs> it's going to be so easy to get more money from this run, so it's definitely not a big deal to not have 50-50 for this. Don't like that. There's a range up. Ah. A lot of hits there, unfortunately. I don't think I can afford giving you bombs, unfortunately. I'd love to get a bomb item, but I don't think that's reasonable. <laughs> I don't think that's a reasonable idea. Because I think I need my bombs for any boss fight, realistically speaking. So we're just going to leave that alone, but begrudgingly for sure. Ah, oh god, so many spiders, so many mushrooms. Trying to just deal with one side of the room at a time, and then the other side actually starts crawling in as well. It's nasty. But it's working out. Four keys, ten bombs. Pretty good. I will probably have to use more bombs as the run progresses, I suppose. But for now, it's not too bad, as long as I just don't run into a random tier. <laughs> it's working out. The curse room's a little tempting. I forget. There was a Wheel of Fortune card here, which I guess I might as well grab since... We don't have anything better anyway. And let's check this out just in case. There might be 
I mean, admittedly, the more rooms we do, the more stuff like that might happen, and that's also not great, of course. The Empress card is right there. This is a little tempting, but not like a lot. Mostly for like Skatol, so I have something to avoid. Because <laughs> I don't really care that much about flies, but if we can get an extra stat up that way, that would be ideal. Plus if this one just keeps giving me more money, then that's not too bad either. Look at that. Getting more money than I'm spending right now. It's amazing, but also... I'd love some bombs, actually. Just really large, large quantities of bombs or keys. Just really consumables. I don't know. I wouldn't hate it. We did spend two keys going in here, so we got that back at least. Technically, we could get soul hearts from this as well, but it just doesn't seem very likely every time I try. It's not exactly something I'm going for while playing the shell game. I do not care much for the shell game, if I'm being honest. Also, I should remember to blow up the shopkeeper inside the secret room, I guess. Because I have not yet, and that will give me a little bit more Devil Deal chance, and that could be lovely. I wonder if it's worthwhile to go for angel rooms during this challenge, because I, do, I guess you do... Um, actually do a decent amount of floors. Like, you do all the floors effectively that you would do on a run where you would ordinarily go for angel rooms with these characters, so I don't actually even hate the idea, but it's just because the challenge goes to mom's heart, I feel less inclined. I'm very bored of this shell game. It's, there's a very good chance he's going to get blown up any second now, but... <sighs> I'd love a stat up. I'd be so happy with a little stat up to save our lives. Just a little bit of tier 8 even would be nice. Also, those speed up would actually be really good. Also, eternal hearts are actually not... Bad. <laughs> I've suddenly become more interested in playing this thing a little bit longer because if we can just get health ups like that, then obviously I'm not too bothered. Not sure who I should get this on, because I do kind of like having all the red hearts on a sow just so I can take more devil deals with them. But the other character also needs a little bit of health. Although he currently has more health than the other one, I suppose. Nope. It was there. Second try. There we go. Okay. Um, you get that. You get that. We got a speed up. We got a damage up. Overall, I'd call that worthwhile. <laughs> because quite frankly, I need everything I can get. Let's get that. There we go. Missing poster. That could be interesting. I don't know if this challenge is necessarily easier as the Lost, but it certainly is different. <laughs> Definitely not super happy if I turn into the Lost, but at least it's a revive. Yeah, I don't know. This might actually be pretty terrible if <laughs> it ends up happening. But it, I guess the moment I die is not going to be great either, so it's like, well, fair enough. This room I just bomb immediately. I don't want to deal with all that nonsense. I think they probably couldn't have gotten that close to me anyway. But if they could, then I would have been in trouble. And I don't want to lie on the cold hard ground. So let's just bomb those away. They do deal like one full of damage as well, so it's like all nastiness. Ah, uh, did I not pick up the other trinket? I'm oh no, my other trinket is in bottom left. Um, it's unlikely that this is going to be more useful. But simultaneously, there's only two more floors with shops in it, so it's like. Mm. Yeah, I'll go like this, sure. I just don't feel like red hearts are going to be that important. I guess I might actually just get rid of it in a second. I'm probably going to bomb this one once he sheds his skin and sits down to do a brimstone. Uh, I hope that happens soon, because I am getting hit by everything. This is horrendous. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, that's not great. This is awful. I don't like this boss. <laughs> I don't like two of them either. It's not a great combination. We didn't get another Devil Deal, surprisingly enough. Goat head. Well then. <laughs> I guess we're taking that on you since you're going to get the health back anyway. But that's more Devil Deals. That was a really rough fight. I don't like how that went. Uh, but we're just going to keep on going like this, I suppose. I don't know if I should have taken this trinket because I don't... I think it's worse than having more money for the remaining two floors. But... Yeah, it's fine. This is probably worthwhile, since we don't fight double enemies during this anyway, so I might as well. Uh, there we 
go. No worries. It also recharges our void pretty well, actually, so that's also not too bad. Doesn't really matter at this stage, I suppose, since we don't... Well, alright, never mind. <laughs> that was more tier 8. And that's two greed, so we're not going to see these in the shop. That's good. Uh, downside is, is that I have to fight two super greeds here, but worked out surprisingly well. Very nice. Alright, that wasn't a curse. It was a challenge room that we went to previously. Um, I might put that in the void as well, you know? I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think we're going to get a Guppy transformation this run. It just seems unlikely. Uh, even with the extra Devil Deals that we're going to get, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe I should check out my Devil Deal first before I make that call. Maybe I will actually get a Guppy transformation. <laughs> Since we are going to get Devil Deals on the remaining floor, so that's at least uh, three more useful ones. Hopefully. And with useful, I mean that the one in room two isn't just isn't as great. On account of the challenge ends there. Uh, which is making it a little bit less useful. This is a lot of pins. I don't love pin, I'm starting to realize. I don't love pin when there's a hundred of them, even more. My health is steadily lowering, <laughs> which is concerning me a little bit as well. Um, my health started off so well, but now we are here. And I do keep taking devil deals as well, which is probably not helping my life either. And let's see what we got. Probably do want to see my shop at some point. I kind of hoped he wasn't going to teleport slightly to the right suddenly, but he did. Uh, that was unfortunate. Otherwise, we could have placed bombs right in the middle of the two, and that would have maybe been a little bit nicer for sure, but eh, what can you do? At least we got one of them. Trying to just deal with all the jumping boys, but we're fine. Ah, that's one extra unfortunate hit there, but fair enough. That's my tier 8 for a boy. Getting close to max tier 8 on that character. That's not terrible. Ooh, how not terrible we talking, though? Because I kind of want to get that on his out, but it is also going to make him not have any more red hearts, and I do feel like that's a problem. Maybe I should have taken that on Jacob, but... I do kind of like piling up all my damage on one character. So I can mostly just focus on trying to hit with red tears and not... And anything else is a bonus. <laughs> not sure if that was a great idea, but we'll find that out as we move along. I do want to visit my shop first. This is a room without a tinted rock. Really? That's unfortunate. I do kind of want to get to that other side because there's a lot of bombs over there. Um, let's put you over there, let's put you over there, and then I think if I go straight down, we're fine. There we go, that's a ghost, baby. I don't care about that. Uh, luck up. Yeah, not super exciting, but fair enough. <sighs> that didn't go the way I planned it. Fair enough. One more bomb for the price of two, and also a coin. Everything's great. A lot of rocks destroyed, no trap door, no good stuff. Unfortunate. No tinted rock here either. Which is not great. <laughs> I'd love to get one. We have 12 keys, so this isn't too bad. Might as well. Flight would have been nice, I suppose, but... Flight on this character is a little bit fiddly. Bloop. Shot Bloop. Speed up. Shot speed up. Spiders. Spiders. But the bad ones. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Hmm. What card is this? That does say judgment every now and then. But I was probably gonna bomb for it anyway. I guess I could just walk. Let me just drop all my cards on the floor. This isn't exactly the most difficult thing to do uh, regularly, I suppose. There we go. Let's just place Judge. you down. That's not the right one. Well, maybe it is. There is a lot of red hearts on this floor. I suppose it could work out. It's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. 
Gonna be a little bit of back walking back and forth unless there's a lot of red hearts coming out of this room for no reason. That's a pill. Um, I'm gonna take that on you and hope. That was a good hope. 0 0.03 tier rate. I kind of wanted to get a balls of steel or a health up, but that'll do, I suppose. There we go. Could use strength to uh, give him one more heart, but I feel like that might not be the best use of the strength card. Yeah, there is uh, Guppy's collar still waiting for me, which is not terrible. Uh, you get some more. It is a challenge, so it also doesn't uh, require quite as many uh, things. Quite as many donations to get the prize, which is quite nice. Uh, blow this up for good measure. Soul heart. Only half, but still, it's a soul heart. Arguably worthwhile for the price of one bomb. It's very much arguably, but I will argue it. And as such, it has been argued, and it is worth. Got decent range on a sow now as well, so that's good. That's another red heart. There is a tiny battery waiting for us in the uh, super secret room as well. Maybe multiple? I forget what the secret room it actually was, but there is something over there. That's pretty good. That's something else. That's actually really nice. I mean, it is flight on one character, which I'm never quite fond of with these two, but it is a lot of extra protection as well. <laughs> Especially since we did get rid of our um, red hearts with that character anyway. That's a soul. Oh, that's a tinted rock. It is a soul heart as well, so that's good. It is not a charge, but that's fine. Like, look at that shield right there. That might help us through some trouble here and there, and I'm hoping it will. Another tinted rock in this room as well, so that's good. Looking good. Looking okay. I'm gonna put you right there. Oh, God. <laughs> that didn't quite go according to plan, but it worked out. <laughs> sure. Let's put that on you. Take that. Still more unidentified pills, surprisingly enough. But we did need to become small at some point during this run, I suppose. Now, it's interesting. I did a practice run on my other save. And I reached boss rush with that one because we got so many ridiculous things. <laughs> we just got... There was like scythes, there was uh, just all oh, so many good things, so many great ways to deal damage. I guess I'll buy both of these. That's actually really nice. Debatably, <laughs> I could... Um, and that's kind of a... It's a little cheaty, but one thing I could do is put the glowing hourglass inside the void and it would win the game. It would mean that we can't use the void on anything else from that point on. Uh, <laughs> however, I'm Jacob and it's Sal and I don't mind cheating to win. So what we're going to do, <laughs> uh, because an interesting property of the glowing hourglass uh, in the void is that regularly the glowing hourglass does not recharge after using it, but if it's in the void, it does recharge the void as well. Um, so you realistically, you sacrifice the capability of eating items with the void because uh, you just go back to the previous room every time you try. However, you gain the ability to redo every room forever. Uh, until you don't take damage in it. So it's a pretty, it's decent. It's pretty decent. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you here. Uh, so we buy that on you. And then we put that in there. And now once we've recharged that, we are golden. Tears up, luck down. That effectively was just a luck down, but that's fine. I will just like quickly check out that that still works, but I'm pretty sure it does. Which is ridiculous, and I'm very pleased about it being what it is. <laughs> uh, because that certainly will, well, guarantee you a victory, really. So, you know, that's nice. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Alright, so if we go here, use that, and suddenly, we can just do it again. Just keep doing this <laughs> for as long as we want. 
Uh, so yeah, that, that sort of changes the run a little bit, I would say. I would have to use it in time, but that's realistically the only thing I have to look out for at this stage. Uh, we can choose not to do every single room in the game that we don't have to. Like, if we get to a dead end, we can just say no and leave. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't mind it. It's a layer of safety that I appreciate. Uh, I don't like that, though. Like now, I could just say, let's redo that, but I'm not going to go that wild with it. I'll, I'll just redo it if I really mess it up, which one hit's fine. <laughs> if we start getting to like really low health, then maybe I should consider doing it more frequently, but for now I'll just keep up, keep playing the game, <laughs> at least sort of regularly. That's a shield. Uh, experimental pill. Like for stuff like this as well, I don't hate it. Just because you can do this and luck up shot speed down, I could say like, well, I don't love that. And I'll just uh, put that stat back again where it was. It does simplify things a lot at the end of the day. I mean, ultimately, you can do that with the regular void as well, just not as frequently. There is a decent amount of money here. I'm curious if I should load these flames, but again, uh, we have some options here. Because uh, the flames, it's always the same flames that contain the hearts, if hearts are contained in the flames. Uh, so one thing that we can do is blow them all up and see which ones drop flames and then just redo that better afterwards. If none of them have it, well then the choice is easily made. <laughs> that does simplify things a little bit. Uh, I'm a little interested in this. I'm going to take the hit there. That's a nasty chest, but again we can just check it. Where one makes you small, I think not. Unidentified pill. More like... Herb. Alright. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, just really looking for my shop. I guess I can just pick up these things as well since I have flight on that character. I kind of forgot. I guess I can also pick up all these things. I was just sort of thinking, like, what should I do with this? But I guess I can just go there. Uh... I guess that's just also strength. Empress. Fair enough. So we know where the boss room is. So I could just go there. But if there is like a Mama Mega or something in the shop, then I would like to have that. Uh, similarly with the curse room, normally if you use the glowing hourglass after going in it, you'll lose the damage taken. So that's quite nice. We have flight now. So we can just do whatever we want. I don't hate the sun card, actually, you know? So I'm going to actually take that instead of the Empress, just to make uh, mapping a little bit easier there. So that's good. Good stuff, good stuff all around. There's actually a reasonable chance this might be the, the actual, this time for realsies, last time we'll play as uh, Jacob and Asawa here, so that's at least something. Provided I, at some point, uh, abuse the possibility of the glowing hourglass. <laughs> I have greed. Every 20 days. That's not too bad, actually, given my money situation and my. Uh, this being the last floor we can reasonably spend money on. So I might actually go back for that. Just for the sake of it. That's two prides. But that's fine for the most part. If we take damage here, I might just go back. We have no reason to fight this one. <laughs> But we fortunately didn't take damage. I don't know where my shop is. It's really the only reason why I'm still on this floor. Found an arcade room. That's fun. I guess I could give this one some money since we're going to get a devil deal regardless. And yeah, for that, that's pretty good. I mean, I can't only take it on one character, but it's still pretty alright. So I don't hate it. Forget me now. <laughs> I mean... No, it's not even terrible, but I think I'll skip it. I think I will just skip that one. Hmm, will I? I might as well just have it. And if it is a scarred wound, then I can just say maybe not. And hope that it won't be. Again, ultimately, it doesn't really matter in my current situation, but... 
I think the Scarred Womb is the only place where the Matriarch shows up, and I don't really want to fight two Matriarchs uh, ever. So it would be nice if we don't have to. Uh, we already have max tiers on that one, so let's just do that. Uh, ladder, I guess, is sort of almost flight. <laughs> yeah, I guess I might as well touch that with you. Actually, do I... Mm, I do like flies. Yeah, I'll just go with flies. At some point, I should mute my phone. <laughs> it's been making sounds and it's distracting, but for now... Ooh, Soul of Isaac. Ah. Alright. Sack of sacks, do I like that more? That's a very solid question. I'm just gonna do it. I can do whatever I want at this stage. That is a very... It's a very important feeling regarding my choices right now. I can get away with just about everything. And uh, it does sort of change the way I play the game. Uh, on account that I don't have to worry uh, ever, really. As long as I just remember to press the do not death button quickly enough, then we are not going to be deathened. And that is just really neat. You might have noticed I'm a little lost. But not a lot. There we go. Very nice. And let's go do this reasonably damageless. Maybe a little bit. A little bit of damage. There we go. Nope, damage was very nice, very good. Uh, you are no longer close to the other one, that's a problem maybe. You will... Oh, let's see what it is actually. Ooh! <laughs> that means we're going to pick up this with you. And then we are going to get rid of that immediately. I did say I was going to get... Well, I got Sives in my previous run. I go, I suppose that's not immediately an indicator we're going to get it this run as well, but I'm very happy about it. It's a very nice thing to get. We have a map. I mean, we have to go up. We still have a Sun card as well, so we can use that for full mapping, but I think I'll just save, save that for the next floor. Might as well check out the secret room. Secret room. Might as well blow up these friends in the secret room. For a large quantity of spiders and some coins. If I picked up the greedier eye, I guess that would have been kind of nice. Have I used that in a run? I might not have actually. That thing doesn't show up very often. Probably should have taken it. <laughs> oh well. It's a challenge anyway, so it wouldn't have counted towards our item count. So we do have to pick it up at some point anyway. In a run that's not a challenge. So it's fine. It's fine, I suppose. Ah, uh, come on, be a friend. I'm not really too concerned about the mom's heart boss fight. There are going to be two mom's hearts, but they die to bombs fairly quickly, so I'm hoping that that's just going to be fine. All right, uh, it's getting to the point where <laughs> I'm going to make some choices here. Uh, flies, there you go. I'm getting to the point where I realistically just want to reach the end of the run, as we often get to with these characters. And uh, that's usually when I just start making sure. <laughs> it is kind of nice to have a large quantity of health available for the Mom's Heart fight at the end of the day. And I really don't want to do the entire uh, womb floor both times. So you really just want to make this as easy as possible. That's a little bit of brimstone, but it's not... Eh. Most days I'd be interested. Today I'm not too interested, unfortunately. Mostly just because of the build we got going on and only one of our characters has damage. <laughs> um, one, two, three... I think it's down. It's hard to tell. Let's go down first. Oh god, absolutely not. Get out of here. There we go. And it was not down, damn it. <laughs> oh well. At least we cleared out a big room. I guess simultaneously I could have just used the uh, hourglass and after using the sun cards and then make my decision on when to use the sun card in an actual fight and against big room enemies, but it's fine. It's good. 
I will say that with how this has ended up going, even without the hourglass, I think we would have been fine. It's just that we just have that extra layer of safety available. <laughs> that does reduce tension at least a little bit, and that does change things sometimes. Because I have taken some damage here and there that I probably could have avoided. I could also just bomb my way through the remaining floors, actually, and that honestly wouldn't have been too terrible of an idea. With the amount of bombs that we have, I think we still would have had enough to um, fight Mom's heart just fine, but uh, it's fine. This will work. One more soul heart. Very nice. Always surprising to get a soul heart out of a chest that you got out of a tinted rock, but it's always a fun time when it happens as well. It's just kind of like, oh, we did get the thing. And that just feels nice. There we go. One more friend. One more fight. And then we're done. With Jacob and Asal. Forever. Also, the tick is just like a really nice trinket to get during this challenge because uh, you just destroy so much of the boss. But look at that. They're like four bombs just destroys mom's heart. And thus ends the challenge. We get broken glasses in the basement, which have an effect of some kind. They are certainly a trinket. And, uh,. It's another challenge completed. We're getting pretty far with our uh, repentance challenges now. There is still mm, a couple tricky ones, but we'll get to those when we get to those. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another one with a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.